First one we're going to look at is a name Browns fans will recognize, Deron Payne. Um, that was a guy that a lot of folks thought the Browns might try to acquire. What do you see with him? Well, here's taking on the tackle. They're just running an outside zone there. On the, uh, the reason I picked this film is just because of his get off. This is what he does both in the run and in the pass. He gets off the ball each and every time. So he's kind of the outlier of the guys, in my, in my opinion. Uh, he gives you the best of both worlds. I don't know if the Browns necessarily can uh, get a pass rusher and a guy who can stop the run. Those guys are really hard to come by. Uh, Deron Payne is at the top of my list in terms of a guy who can be heavy, take on double teams, be violent with his hands, anchoring his gap. Uh, but he can still stay in there. He can be a three down guy. He can get off the ball. He can pass rush. Uh, here he just overpowers the tight end. But you see this a lot. He's a guy who's productive, 64 tackles. Uh, 11 and a half sacks, 18 tackles for a loss this year. So he was really productive in both the pass and the run. Uh, again, he's a guy who does both very well. And I think the Browns need a guy like this, but at least a guy who's heavy in there and can take on the run. But his hands, his ability to get up the ball, they're, they're special. Yeah, and relative to pain with the Browns, think about lining him up potentially next to Miles Garrett and what that would do to that part of the offensive line, having to do those two guys lining up to ne next to each other? Well, I think with these guys, and obviously Brown Payne would be awesome, I think what these guys would do is that they would put the Browns in better third down situations. So the Browns right now, they're in bad down and distances on third down, which doesn't allow them to use their strength, which is their edge rushers, edge rushers and their secondary. Spent a lot of money in that secondary, and they're not, they don't get to get to it a lot because – the offense is at second and five or less or second and six and less. So I think with a guy like Deron Payne or these other guys that I watched on film, it's going to get the Browns to third and long, which the Browns third and long can be pretty successful like most teams, but the Browns have a, a, an elite pass rusher in miles Garrett and they have an outstanding deep secondary. So these guys not only lining up next to each other, but these guys can get the offense to a down a distance that gets the Browns to their strengths.